Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to see you again. Today I want to focus on photographing birds and more specific waders because it's, uh, um, it's the beginning of autumn here in Sweden, at least here in the middle of Sweden where I live. So we got a lot of migratory birds moving along the, the coast. So what I'm gonna do today is to try and photograph waders. And I got a ghillie suit, but I'm... Ghillie suit is a camouflaged clothes, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. I think I'm gonna uh, use this <laughs> and stay cl close to the ground and maybe I toss some <laughs> camouflage over my head, but yeah, I'm gonna stay close to the ground and see if I can capture some pictures of waders and it's a uh, really low water level right now so they have a lot of nice areas to look for food along the shoreline so yeah let's get let's get going and see if I can capture some nice images of birds today It's the 4th of September today and uh, it's kind of late for waders, but let's hope there's not just mallards here. Let's take a closer look. I got my Nikon Z7 with, with a 70 to 200 lens with a 1.4 teleconverter. And that's, ah, it's kind of short focal length for bird photography, but uh, I'm hoping I can get a bit closer to the to the waders. This is way too far away. But I have to find a spot where there are no birds at all and kind of lay down on the ground there and hope for the birds to come. I don't want to scare the birds that are already here. So uh, I need some luck today if I'm gonna capture some photo, uh, photos of birds. So far it's only ma mallards and some swans, but I can hear some waders, so the, they have to be here somewhere. Oh, I think there's a flock of waders flying. Yep, <laughs> okay, so they are still here. So yeah, now I feel a lot more positive. I'm, I might actually get some nice pictures of waders, just have to get closer to them. There's actually a lot of waders out on the sand, but there are tiny, tiny dots. <laughs> but yeah, there's some mallards here and there's actually a lot of birds around, so it's nice. And I'm not gonna go out on the sand. It's really hard to hide myself <laughs> out there, so I need to keep going and see if I can find another spot. And there's actually really a lot of waders out there. Maybe, I don't know, in the frame that I have right now, maybe there's a 50 waders. So yeah, it's looking good so far. This is actually a nice spot, this little cove here. And it's really low water level. Usually the water is all <laughs> up against the, the grasses, but not today. It's maybe 30 or 40 meters away from the grass. <laughs> so that's, yeah, 
kind of unusual actually. And there's no waders here right now, so this could potentially be a nice spot to, to hide. And I got two options for this photo shoot. Um, the sun is setting inland and uh, it's, there's, there's no clouds. So there's gonna, hopefully going to be some really nice warm evening light later at sun, sunset. So either I shoot the, the birds at sunset with warm light and get some really nice textures on the birds and you can see the feathers really nice. Or I go to the other side on the south side and shoot directly towards the sun and get uh, backlit uh, shots of birds. But um, I think I can't do both. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna stay on this north side and photograph the birds with some warm light actually. Well, I'm actually back at the south side and well, I think this is the best spot actually. I think I can get some some re the best light will be here, I think. So I'm gonna get into my ghillie suit and try to hide somewhere here in the grasses. Now I'm just going to wait and see what happens. I can see some waders in the distance, so just let's hope they come closer. I can see them, but they are way too far away to take nice footage and pictures of them. So I'm, I'm just going to have to be patient here. actually got kind of close to them. I had to move around a bit and eventually I found a really nice spot. So I got really close to them and got some really nice footage. But I was so excited so I completely forgot to take pictures. I just got video clips of them. So that was really nice. Now the light is fading. The light, I mean the sun is going to set in maybe 20 minutes. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. So let's get out of the ghillie suit and I will go up to the bird spotting tower and say a few words and I will go home soon.
such a peaceful evening. No wind. All I can hear are birds. Absolutely fantastic. And I'm so happy that I got this photo shoot with the birds. Usually this channel is about landscape photography. And this is something that I want to do more of, but I simply don't have the time. <laughs> so whenever I get the chance to photograph birds, I feel a little bit like a beginner. So <laughs> I have a lot to learn to learn when it comes to bird photography. But I had fun and that is the most important thing. And yeah, this 70 to 200, it's not really optimal for bird photography. But I'm keeping my eye on um, the new Nikon Z 400 millimeters f uh, 4.5 and uh, I think I'm gonna buy that eventually. There is another lens as well, the uh, Z 200 to 600 millimeters, but it's it's not announced yet, so I don't know how it's gonna be with sharpness and uh, how fast it's gonna be and so on. So at some point I wanna upgrade my wildlife lens to a, a longer focal length. But I had fun with this little lens today. <laughs> so ah, now I'm gonna have a bit of snack and just take it easy a few minutes before I go back home. And well, first I'm gonna make a phone call to my partner Vivian and tell her that I'm on my way home. So I'm really glad you tuned in this week and I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.